Good evening and welcome back to Prime of Midlife. This evening we are talking saving money and talking about the little bits and bods that I have been doing for the last good few years that have saved me money. And you probably have heard of them all, but just in case it's worth checking out, um, just in case it can help you as well. So one of the first things that I have see, have a list, <laughs> is jars. Now, as you know, I buy jars of cooking sauce, tartar sauce. Um, I've bought passata in, well, sort of like large bottles. Um, and I always keep the jars. Any jars get washed out. Obviously, curry jars get washed out a few times. And then they get used for preserving, whether it's jam or sauces or caramelised onions or pickled stuff or chutney. Anything that doesn't need to be pressure canned can go in those jars. So I have a stash, I actually have a box of them wrapped in tissue alongside a whole lot of them on top of a table at the moment because I'm about to make more jam. So jars, I do not buy separately. I've bought the pressure canning jars and then I also bought some extra lids <clears throat> because we're not a big family. There's only so many jars of canned, of pressure canned stuff I will go through. So as I probably have about 30 or 40 jars just now, I just need lids because as I go through it, I shall replace it. I won't be buying any more glass jars. So that's that saves me money in the long run. Because I bought jars once, jam jars. I got a whole lot of jam strawberries from the local farm and I ran out of jars. And it cost me a fortune to go and buy jam jars in the local hardware store. Just awful. Um, the other thing is Tupperware or plastic containers. Uh, Patrick is very good. He treats me to Chinese. Um, saves him cooking, saves me cooking, and it means I get Tupperwares or plastic containers. And I use them, I reuse them a lot. They are all for any of the batch cooking. The majority of it is kept in plastic containers to be reused. I have them in various sizes. Um, obviously, after a while, they break. If I need some more, I will buy them. I try not to. Normally, if I buy um, plastic things just now, it's the smaller size so that I can use it for just like single portions or sides, etc. So Tupperware, yeah, I don't particularly buy them very often um, because we just reuse what we've got. Or if any of my friends get Chinese, Kathleen gets Chinese, Patrick and I have Chinese, we keep the tubs. Flask for coffee or tea. Now, a few years ago, I would have said the reusable cups for coffee or tea. I am absolutely now a flask convert, completely and utterly. It's all very well taking a cup of coffee into work while you're travelling, if you're commuting on your train or commuting in the car, and I still do that. However, I also fill up a flask and I have that through the day. Now, I don't have to because we have free tea and coffee at work. However, I do every so often like a cup of coffee that's come through the filter, the filter coffee, but I have loads of sugar and loads of coffee mate with it. That's why you've seen the coffee mate in my shelves. Nobody else wants to drink it because they just say it's flavoured milk. Um, they all take their coffee much stronger than me, but I really quite like it. So if, especially if I've had a rough night the night before, like last night when the cat woke me up at half past four in the morning to get out, mm -hmm. I made myself a flask of coffee and took it into work. So that kept me going. So as I say, it certainly, you know, a few years ago, I just said a travel cup, a reusable cup. Now I am completely converted to the flasks. Saves money, keeps things hot and just, you know, I'm a convert. What can I say? My other thing is do your shopping all at once. Not so much if we had been talking about where Patrick lived down in London. 
he just had to walk around the corner and there was supermarkets in Iceland and boots and everything. If you're more rural or if you have to go out of town for your shot, it's definitely worth it to make yourself a list and just hit it all at once. Whatever shops you need to hit, do them all at once and get everything done. Saves yourself time, saves yourself petrol because every time you go to the shops, it's travel time. And I have noticed how much time I was use taking to travel before. Now I've cut it right down. And normally I go shopping when I'm in Perth anyway, St. Patrick. Otherwise it's three quarters an hour that way, three quarters an hour back. So you're talking probably about three hours by the time I get the shopping done if I go to more than one shop. So if you can, get your shopping done all at once. Or if you can do it online and it makes money, it makes sense money wise, then that's definitely worth a go. Um, kitchen roll. I don't use kitchen roll. Well, I do, tell lies. I use kitchen roll for um, lawn sausage, which is the square sausage we eat in Scotland. <clears throat> if I have that in the frying pan, we don't add oil to it, we just let it cook in its own fats. But we will put that on kitchen roll. So a roll of kitchen roll lasts me probably about a year. Otherwise, I use the reusable cloths that I made. Um, let me see if I can just find one because I haven't shown you one. Now, you have to understand this reusable cloth I have had now for over three years. One side is an old tablecloth. 100% cotton. The other side was a pink and white stripy towel. Obviously, I have washed it within an inch of its life. But I don't use kitchen roll. I use this for wiping up spills. Throw it in the washing machine. As you can see, it's been through the washing machine a lot. Um, so I don't use kitchen roll. I don't buy cloths. I either crochet my own. Again, bear with me. Here is one I prepared earlier. That's my crocheted dishcloth and it looks very gappy, but once you add water, um, the fibres expand. So I make them, they last years. You have to re-bleach them every so often because they get a bit icky looking, but they come back up like this and they're fabulous. So I don't buy cloths. I don't buy kitchen roll. I don't buy like dusters and stuff because we just cut off old clothes. Why wouldn't you? Um, <clears throat> because there's a lot of stuff that you can't, you know, some of the places are like, oh, don't give us this, we don't want that. You know, they don't want bedding. Cut up a coat cover. A lot of them are quite a high percentage of cotton, really good for wiping things down and can get washed through easily, dry easily. Definitely worth saving. Um, the other thing I don't buy is freezer bags. I use bread bags. What I do is... <clears throat> I switch my bread between normal bread bags or the here in the UK you have the Warburton's Toasty and it's wrapped in waxed paper. There's no plastic in it. It's not recyclable. It's just waxed paper. Um, and I use the waxed paper for sandwiches sometimes, depending on how much I've got. But I also use the bread bags. Now, what I also use the bread bags for, which is actually going on to my next item... It's the big ice cube trays. Now, I'm just actually defrosting some stuff from one now. But these big ice cube trays. Um, I use those ice cube trays for caramelised onions, for um, stock from joints, for, what did I use it for? Salsa? Made more on salsa. No, I made more on pesto, not salsa. Goodness gracious. Made my own pesto, froze it, put it in those ice cube trays and then once they're frozen, I put them in my bread bags. So I have a bread bag full of chicken stock, I have a bread bag full of caramelised onions. Well, I don't know because I've used those ones because I was tidying out my freezer. But I use them a lot for saving things that I don't have an awful lot or that are just small quantities because to put say the little bit of chicken stock you've got left in a big Tupperware and it's like you know not even a centimeter deep that seems pointless whereas if you put it in the ice cube trays perfect throw them in a bag and that's you sorted 
And my last thing is your cleaners. Um, I don't actually know how old this squishy bottle is, but trust me, that is not as the window cleaner in the bottom. That is as the multi-surface cleaner diluted in that, and that's what I use. I just keep buy a couple of cheap bottles if I break a bottle, and then just dilute it down. So those are the things I've been using for years. And I just find them as normal. And I forget that not everybody has been doing that. And sometimes it's just one of those little ideas that you tell someone, they're like, oh, that's a good idea. So I thought I would share with you what I do just as normal. And hopefully it's useful to someone. Catch you later.